How about leadership? What are some leadership sort of cues that you've, you've picked I, up along the way? I think you have to see patterns before other people see the patterns, so you know where you're going to go before many others do. But I think one of the biggest things about leadership is you've got to have guts. So if you look at the things we did that are different, like not having budgets, and others push you to do that, you've got to stand up for it and have the guts to just say, this is the way we're going to do it. Which happens every week there's things that I'm going to go a different direction than everybody else and say, we're going this way. For example, we started a program called BFF where our, every one of our customers has a single BFF from Epic, and then that Epic person has only one BFF customer. And you're supposed to do what the meaning of it is. You are the best friend forever, and you have a very close relationship with that customer. <clears throat> Usually after the implementation, we find one person who loves the customer, and one uh, and the group of customers love this one. Usually there's more than one, but so then we pick one of those and say, you're going to be the BFF. You're going to stay with this customer forever. Well, our staff said, you can't call it BFF. We'll be embarrassed. Uh, that's too embarrassing to go up to a customer and say, I'm going to be your BFF. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I said, yes, you are. And that's what we're going to do. And it turned out to be a fantastic program. Our staff love it. Our customers love it. There's a close relationship there. But that's an example of just, no, you're going to do that. 